So now we've set our project start date to the 2nd of January 2023, it's time to start adding some tasks into our project plan. Now I'm going to show you how to add a couple of tasks. We're going to complete some of the fields and then I'm going to leave you to add the rest of the tasks in yourself to give yourself a little bit of practice. Now we're doing a wedding plan, but of course this could be some kind of business plan, anything you like that is technically a project. So you don't necessarily have to do exactly the same project that I'm doing. If you have your own project that you'd like to plan out, then please feel free to add those tasks instead. However, if you would like to follow along with me, I've put into a spreadsheet the tasks that we're going to add into the project plan. And you'll find this spreadsheet in the course files folder available for you to download. So let's just have a quick look at that spreadsheet. So here is that file. It's called final underscore wedding underscore plan underscore tasks dot XLSX. And this is a very simple spreadsheet where I've really planned out the tasks that I'm going to add into my project plan. Now I haven't added all of the detail into this spreadsheet. I simply have the name of the task, the priority, and currently who that task is going to be assigned to. Obviously there is a lot more information that we can add into every single task, but that's what we need in order to get these tasks into our project plan. And I would really recommend this before you start delving too far into the details and worrying about things like how long each task is going to take. I like to just get a basic structure of my tasks into the project plan first, and then I can go into the details of each of those tasks. Now you'll see here in the spreadsheet, I've kind of got a little bit of structure to the tasks that I'm going to add. You can see that some of these are indented and some of these are in bold. Now we're going to reflect this structure within the project plan. And we do that by using what we call summary tasks and subtasks. Now I'm not going to talk about those in this particular lesson, but just keep that in the back of your mind for later lessons when I show you how we can add this type of structure. For the time being, I'm simply going to start typing in the names of these tasks and adding in some of these basic details. And what I'm going to do is where we have these summary tasks in capital letters, I'm going to leave those out for the time being. So I'm going to start by adding in agree budget and approach and then set wedding date. So let's deal with the first one, agree budget and approach. The priority of this is important and it's assigned to myself and Ben. So let's add that into our project plan. So where we have add new task, let's click just here. It opens up an editable field. I'm going to type in the name of the first task. Now you can see that as soon as I type that in and click away, it completes some basic default information in each of these columns. Now in this first column, the quick look column, this isn't a column that we have to input anything into. This is going to update automatically with an icon, which will indicate if this task has a note, an attachment, or if it has any checklist items. Again, we'll delve into that in a little bit more detail later on, but know that this is automatically populated depending on what you've attached to this task. The next column along is the priority of this task, which by default, your tasks are going to be set to medium priority. But of course, we can click the drop down and we have some other options in here. Now, I think I had this as important in my schedule, so I'm going to choose important from here. The next column is who this task is assigned to. Now, once again, if I click this little plus to assign this task, you can see it's going to pull up a list of all of the members of my plan. Now you may or may not have added members to your plan in the earlier lesson. If you did, then you're going to select members from your own team. You're not going to have exactly the same as what I've got here. If you're doing this completely on your own and you haven't added any members to the group, then you can simply assign all tasks to yourself for the purpose of this training course. Now, agreeing the budget and approach to this wedding is going to be the job of the bride and the groom. So lucky me, that is myself and my partner, Ben. So I'm going to assign both of us to this task. Now, the rest of these columns here, things like duration, bucket, percentage complete, team, so on and so forth. I'm not going to worry too much about these at the moment. As I said, I just like to get all of my tasks in my schedule first of all, and then I go into the details. 
So I'm not going to worry about duration. We're going to take a look at buckets a bit later on. Percentage complete, we're not going to worry too much about that. But what about team? So each of these tasks is going to be assigned to a particular group of people, a particular team of people. Now I set this up, this is one of our custom fields, as a free text field. So I can type in whatever I like into here. Now what I would actually prefer for this particular column is to have a drop down list of the different teams that can be assigned to this task. Because that helps me control what people are typing into this field. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to edit this field and I'm going to convert it to a choice. So let's click the drop down next to team and I'm going to say I want to edit. Now, unfortunately here, there isn't an option which will allow me to easily convert this to a different field type. So I'm going to delete the field and we're going to re-add this in. So let's go back to add column. I'm going to say new field, but this time I'm going to make this a choice field. I'm still going to call my field name team, but then I can add some choices that people can select from. So maybe one of the teams is the top table. Maybe another team is the bridesmaids. Maybe another team is the groomsmen. Let's add another choice. We'll have made of honor. And then a final one. We'll have a group of people called guests. If I want to make this a little bit more interesting, I can also color code my choices. So if I hover over where we have top table, notice I have a little color picker icon just here and I can choose different colors for each of these choices. So let's choose some nice pastel colors. We'll just go through and add a color for each of those and click on create. So now I have my new field over here. I actually want to move this so that it is just after percentage complete. So I can simply drag and drop. So now if I want to assign this particular task to a specific team, which is going to be the top table, I can click the drop down and there are my choices. So I've been able to easily control what is input into this field if there are lots of different people working on this project plan. Is this a mandatory task? Well, yes, it is. We need to agree the budget before we can proceed. And where is this going to take place? Well, I have three different locations where things are happening for this wedding. The actual wedding is going to take place in Oxford, but both myself and Ben live in London. So when we're agreeing the budget and approach, that's going to occur in London. And that's all the detail that I'm going to add for this first task. Let's refer back to our spreadsheet because the next task to add is setting the wedding date. And this is urgent. We really need to get that wedding date solidified so that we can start doing everything else. So this is an urgent task again that is assigned to both myself and Ben. So let's add this one in as well. We're going to click on new task again. set wedding date. And remember, you can also press the tab key to move across to the next field. Now this one is going to be urgent. So let's select that. And it's going to be assigned to myself and Ben. As I said, I'm not going to worry too much at this stage about the duration or the bucket, but I am going to assign this to a team. So again, this is the top table. Yes, this is mandatory. We definitely need to set a wedding date and this is going to occur in London. So very simple to add in these basic tasks. So what I would then do is go through all of these tasks, the ones that aren't showing in bold or capital letters and add all of those tasks in. Now, the reason why I'm leaving out these is because these ones here showing in bold are what we call summary tasks. And I'm going to show you how you can add those in and structure this correctly when we talk about summary and subtasks. So at this stage, it's time for you to go away and add in the rest of these tasks. As I said, this isn't an exact science. If you're assigning things just to yourself or you don't get the priority exactly the same as what I've got it here, it doesn't matter a great deal. Just as long as you know the process of adding these different things into your project plan. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. 
To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.